Okay, an arraignment is when the uh, accused is apprised of what the charges are that they'll face. They'll be presented with a copy of the complaint or the information. Um, at that time, they are required to enter a plea of guilty or not guilty. It is customary to enter a plea of not guilty um, to advise the court that you want to enter that plea as to all counts and enhancements. It's also necessary for the court to know that the uh, accused is aware of his or her constitutional rights. So, uh, an attorney doing an arraignment will stipulate that there's been an advisement of rights by counsel to the client. Um, at times, a, uh, a court will ask you to stipulate uh, that the name is spelled correctly and that the date of birth is correct. Um, by statute, you really don't have to do that. Okay? Yeah. And uh, if the, the uh, accused pleads not guilty, then they will set another court date, um, either for a felony settlement conference, if it's a complaint, or a trial readiness conference, if it's an information. Yeah, bring, it's bringing back memories of uh, all the court dates I've went through with the Turpin case. And uh, I guess it's the same for every person that goes through this. It is. It is. Customary, right? Uh huh. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, it's required uh, by law. Thank you. It's all laid down by statute. <laughs> right? Thank you. Well, it is arraignment day today, April 1st, 2022, the day of the April Fools. Three of them were in court, subdued, customary, and. This is something that the court system goes through. You know, not to compare the two cases because there is no comparison, but in some ways the Olguin case is intense. In fact, even more intense if you look at it through the eyes of a child because, you know, when our parents hurt us, we can find it within us to find forgiveness and give them a pass or two. But when the violation comes from someone that was brought into your life at an age that you can remember at, at a childhood age and that person is meant to serve you and protect you and keep you out of harm's way and they brought were brought to you as a stranger, they were a complete stranger and then introduced to you as your new mom and dad. So you have faith you have faith in the system. And that person turns around and violates you. That's a whole nother level to deal with. And in fact, it can be extremely even more traumatizing than when it comes from your own mother or father, biologically speaking. Especially after not knowing people and thinking that everyone is a stranger and finally finding trust in human beings. And the first human being that's there to take care of you turns around and violates you that's pretty serious and um, there's going to be a lot of healing that needs to be done to go through this and to get through this and can only give them hope that that happens and that is arraignment day for you thanks for watching I will be here with the rest of the media there's a few channels out here, spoke to all of them, spoke to the media, to the reporters. Some of them are new and had questions about the past case. We all kind of teamed up and helped each other and spoke through it. Thank you.